The search for the next Chief Justice this Friday saw the acting Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu clash with former Director of Public Prosecutions Philip Murgor over claims of an apparent vacuum in the office of the CJ since the departure of David Maraga. Murgor was put on the spot to explain whether his claims were targeting the acting Chief Justice. Vincent Odwar captured the close of the first week of JSC interviews. Sixty-year-old senior counsel Philip Murgo was the fourth candidate to appear before the Judicial Service Commission, seeking to be the new Chief Justice. This comes a few days after Murgo unsuccessfully sought to have Acting Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu recuse herself from the panel over claims of bias with regards to one of the candidates who is yet to appear. A move by Murgo to claim that there was a vacuum in the office of the Chief Justice since the departure of David Maraga seemed to have annoyed Mwilu. Is it Senior Counsel's considered opinion that then um, for these last four, now almost five months, there's been a vacuum in the judiciary? It is not an opinion. It is a fact. Acting. When I say acting, it, is, it means exactly what it is. Every single person in that office views you through a certain lens. You are temporary in that office. The lower bores are vacuum. There cannot be a vacuum. And I am not aware that the acts of an acting director, chief justice, would be reviewed on account of having been executed during the period of acting it even seemed personal at some point that is on, the, on the one on that we are covering right now that actually is my area um, madam i will answer your question in the way that i see fit so okay. please give me a bit of time uh, your question is not specific enough for me to answer it the no, wheel no, no. Uh, the wheel has already been invented the need to improve the capacity and the output of the Supreme Court characterized Mugo's priorities. Capacity, which affects access to justice, it is greatly affected by the staffing issue. The staffing issue, and in particular the judges that need to be uh, appointed, uh, and then I'm talking about the funding issues. But Murgo found himself in a tight spot to say whether he regrets and also explain his role as a prosecutor in the George Anyona case of 1990, who was arrested and later prosecuted for sedition, yet he himself had been arrested in 1982 on a related issue of a coup attempt and played victim. Where does my personal regret come in? I was doing the duty of an advocate on the government side. If successful, the senior counsel has vowed to dismantle cartels in the judiciary and engage a collaborative approach with the executive to end the existing strained relationship between the two arms of government. Vincent Odur, NTV.